Shalom to everyone. We are here today learning Sarah Shimshon, Parashat Kitavo, Le'elui Nishmat, Lo Daniel, Rabbi Daniel Ben Miriam, Ruach Hashem, Tanichenu Baganed. And today is 13 months how Lo Daniel passed away. And also, Le'elui Nishmat, Avram Chaim Ben Yochevet, young man passed away last year, Ruach Hashem, Tanichenu Baganed. I was listening yesterday to Shur to make sure that I don't repeat the same Shur from last year. And unfortunately, last year we were saying Te'elim to both of them. And this year, we don't have both of these two Tzadikim. Chaval. The world lost a lot. And the place should be in Gan Eden. There should be Melitza Yosher and pray for all of us. And Hashem should send us Baruch Hashem, I was so happy today with the Zuchud of the Tzadikim, Israel uh, won the world, that the Torah world should be winning, and not the left side, Baruch Hashem, it's a big, big, big nest. Every rabbi in Israel was crying yesterday and today, all this week. Why? Because they wanted to take the Torah and give to her to her hands of a goy, which is a big, big, big problem. And Baruch Hashem, that Tfilot, that people prayed, cried, <clears throat> Hashem listened once more. Hashem always listens to Tfilot. Now we're holding Mount of Elul. We pray Silichot every day. We cry every day. One thing we should know for sure, Hashem listens to our Tfilot. <coughs> but what I want to say, Lord Daniel's place should be in Gan Eden. And I want to say thank you to his wife, to his kids. That they brought beautiful menu here today, and they did amazing job. Chazakim Baruchim, and from now on they should only sponsor here Sheva Brachot and Brit Milot, Brit Itzchak by Hashem. And also, I would like to say thank you to my wife Rabbitson, that she did uh, side stuff, delicious, uh, delicious stuff. Yes, yes. thank you. What's that called? Blankets. Mm. What's that called? Franks and blankets. Franks and blankets, and then all the other daily roll. Daily roll. Thank you, thank you. Hashem should give her bracha v'atzlacha panasatoa. Amen. 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 We are learning Parashat Kitavo Alera Yud Aleph, 11. When I was doing first time in my life Dafyomi, I don't know, 13, 14 years ago, and I got to this piece of Gemara, I couldn't imagine I learned such a diamond. And when I learned it, I was so happy for like at least six months. Everywhere I would go to your sites or to anywhere that people ask me to speak, I would make sure to speak about this. Until today, when I went, went over today again, I had different choices. I said, no, I'm talking about this one today. So let's look inside and get ready to be tomorrow a spark of the world. Okay? Look, Lera Yudalev, page Shin Ayin Aleph, 371. It says in Gemara Sota, chapter 9, page 49a. Amar Rava, Rava said, Kol yom vayom meruba kilelato mishel chavero. Every day, from Shamayim comes down curse, worse than the other day. Means, yesterday came down curse to the world, it was 30% curse. The power of it was 30%. Today came down curse, 31%. Tomorrow curse will come down to the world, 32%. Month ago was 25%. Year ago was 10%. Thousand years ago was 5% curse in the world. Every day by day, the curse of the world comes down from Shammai worse and worse. The question is, how do we survive? How do we survive? Because of two things. Well, I'm telling you one more time. When I learned it for the first time, I was so happy. And you will be happy right now. Knowing tomorrow the world will remain and exist because of you. If today you pray that Hashem listen to Tfilot to show you I listen to your Tfilot, tomorrow morning you'll say these two things, you'll be happy that Hashem kept the whole world running because of you. 
One more time. Amar Rava. Rava said, Kol yom vayom merubaki lato mishel chaveno. Every day, the curse is much stronger than the day before it. Shenemar. As it says in the Pasuk that we'll be reading in the sixth Aliyah this week. We will be reading 98 curses. Tzach kelalot. Why are we reading right week before Rosh Hashanah? To show us. Tichle shana vekelaloteha. That previous year should pass with its curses. Tachel shana ubilchoteha. Next year should come with its blessings. And it's big, big bracha. We do that twice a year. Before Shavuot. Pasha Bechukotai 49 curses. Half of this. But now since the end of the year. The closure of the season. The closure of the year. Stronger. Double. 98 curses. One of the reasons why we make 100 brachot a day is because of this. To make more brachot. More than curse of the curse. What's curse of the curse? Curse is 98. Cause of the curse is one more. 99. Brachot how many? 100. To beat all the curses. And to make brachot. To be blessed. <coughs> Shenemar, how do we know everyday curse is much worse? Much worse. Baboker tomar miten erev. In the morning you will say, who gave the evening? Uba erev tomar miten boker. And in the evening you will say, who gave the morning? I don't understand. Says Zera Shimshon, in the evening you will say, who gave the morning? Which morning? Next morning? Or previous morning. <laughs> if you say every day curse gets worse and worse, right? Today in the morning was curse how many percent? Thirty. At night is the next day which percent? Thirty one. So then person says, Baboke Tomar meet and eat and wait of Tomar meet and book. In the evening person will say, Hey, who gave the morning? Morning was much better than the evening. Morning, previous morning was much better than the evening. Why? Because there was less curses than now. Now was more curses. Hey Boker. Zerashim Shah says, one second. Which morning we talking about? If you tell me morning of the next day, me a day my havi. How they say in English? Who knows what next day will give birth to? Huh? Mm -hmm. well, what people say? You never know what the next day what what they say will bring. Like, will bring. Why people say like this? You never know what the next day will bring. Because we know from this Gemara, every day curse much worse and worse. Mm. You don't know what next day will show you. So Zerah Shimshon says, which morning? Pass. Which evening? Pass one. Baboker Tomar Miten Erev. In the morning you will say, who gave the yesterday's evening? Why? Because yesterday's evening curse was less than now. Now it's worse, harder, stricter. Who can tell me? What are the two things that keeps the world running? <laughs> two. Every day, curse gets into the world from Shamayim, comes down worse and worse. Only two things that keep the world running. What are the two things? Huh? Number one, Kiddusha. 
When you pray Shmona Esrei, after Shmona Esrei, Ashrei. After Ashrei, what do you say? If there's not a Hanun, what do you say? Uval Etzion. In that Uval Etzion, say Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. That Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh keeps the world. And I remember, and I remember, when I was a kid in Russia, there used to be a lot of earthquakes. Whenever there would be earthquakes, our parents would say, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Hashem, why? To say, Hashem, please don't destroy the world. Let it stand. And second is, when Rabbi makes the Rasha, you stand up to say, Kadosh Al Israel. When you do Kadosh Al Israel, these two things keep the world running. One second. For now. For now. Why am I saying one thing? Because there's a Chidush. There's a Chidush there. I'll say of learning Torah, yes. Look what it says. First one is Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Of Uval Etzion. Second is Kadosh Al Israel of after Divrei Torah. After Agadita, after Divrei Torah. Then you say Kadosh, keeps the world running. I saw Chidush today. Midrash quotes. The Midrash says, it says in the... Otsrota uh, Midrashim. Otsrota Midrashim, it says over there, when it says Kadosh, 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 it doesn't mean Bedafke Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. It says, that's for sure. But also, every day you should take 10, 15 minutes of your time in the morning and in the evening to learn Torah. When you learn Torah 15, 20 minutes, you make Hashem's name holy. And you keep the world running. So a question to all of you. I know we have to run early in the morning to work. We will say Ashray already have eight feelings in the box. But you know what? Tomorrow, make sure you say Uwa Letzion first. And then take off your Tfilin. Why? When you have Tfilin on and you say Kadosh, 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 because of you, the world is standing today. Should I be Tfilin until morning? Yeah, until It's best. Person running, after Uwa Letzion, some... Say if you're in urgent leaving, you know, shall I buy it? Then you're allowed to take it off. But after a while, let's see. On. First and second is Kaddish al. It's two things, very important. The world is standing because of that. Some people say, yeah, Kaddish al Israel, should I say after the Torah? Yes, no. Of course. That's what keeping the world running. And it doesn't even get stuck for the Yes, the biggest. Even after the Yopas. Rabbi Yosef says, Kaddish al Israel has not to do with the year. Even 10 years, even not your side, even anything. Whenever you hear the Bible Torah, it's good to get up and say Kaddish al Israel. Even if you're not in the floor? For what? What is it? Who says al Israel? Anyone. So for example, what is it for? Anyone. Thousand people. Even a person, if parents are alive, then he has to ask permission. If parents says yes, but how, how, so now I have open ticket to do whatever, yeah? Make the world run. When person hears Divrei Torah and he says Kaddish and he says Lel Nishmat, this Kaddish is very strong Kaddish. For the Nishama. It's by Lel Nishmat called Aniftanim if you don't have any particular. But this Kaddish is very strong. It, without Lel Nishmat, it keeps the world running. The world is standing because of this Kaddish. What's so special about it? That over the Yeshama. That addition, what does that addition change? Al Israel, Val Rabbanan, you bless land of Israel, you bless uh, Jewish nation, you bless rabbis, Val Talmideon, Val Kot Talmideh, Talmideon, all the Talmideh Chachamim. It's a big bracha to bless Talmideh Chachamim. Some people in Sidurim, they took away Laminim, Lamashinim, Al Ziknehem. Wrong, put Ziknehem. Rawaj was screaming at people, what is this? You have to pray for Zikenim. Mm. Who are Zikenim? Elders, Talmidei Chachamim. Why are you erasing their name away? Because of Talmidei Chachamim, the world is standing. And same thing, because of the Al Israel Rabbanan, because of Talmidei Chachamim, the world is standing. Rabbi Ashkenazim, they say Al Israel? Of course. When learning Torah? Of course. Everybody says after Divrei Torah, after Talmud Torah, Al Israel. And after Tehillim, they say, Yehesh Nama, I will say Yehesh Nama. Yehesh Nama. Okay, Vaitan. Now let's finish up within 10 minutes. It's going to go very short, fast. But the point is, two things don't take for granted. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh al Israel. There's two holiness you give to Hashem, that's what keeps the world running. 
Hashem says, every day I give you 86,000 times your heart to beat. <laughs> give me two things. Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. And now let it run 86,000 times more. Let's go further. Makshima Olam. The world is asking. Lama mochiach misei for the crowd. So now, what the Pasuk says, Ba boker tomar. Meet and Erev. In the morning, you will say who gave the evening. Uba Erev Tomar, meet and Boker. And in the evening, you will say who gave the morning. So the question is, why you learn from the second, from the second part of the Pasuk to prove the point that every day there's curse much worse? It says, in the evening, you will say who gave the morning. First you said, Pasuk says how? In the morning you will say who gave the evening. evening. And the second piece you said, in the evening you will say who gave the morning. morning. So why Gemara? Uh, why Torah when it says, every day, curse man, curse more than the other, increases the curse day by day. Why the Gemara proves from the second piece of the, of the phrase and not from the first piece? Uba Erev Tomar, me ten. Boker, why it goes like this? Dichtiv uba erev tomar mi item boker. Mileshe dekra hava le leochiyach. Learn that from the beginning of the pasuk. Dichtiv it says ba boker tomar mi item erev. In the morning you say who gave the evening. Why do you need to use new piece? In the in the evening you say who gave the morning. Guys, you understand the question or no? No. There's two pieces in the pasuk. First piece says ba boker tomar mi item erev. In the morning you say. Who gave the evening? Why? Because yesterday evening was less cursed than now. And in the evening you say, who gave the morning? So Gemara says, every day curse worse. From where do we learn? From the evening you say, who gave the morning? But this is already the second piece of the Pasuk. What's the first piece of the Pasuk? In the morning you say, who gave the evening? Mm -hmm. Guys, you with me or no? Yes. Why we learn from the second piece of the Pasuk and not from the first? For example, Right? You have to love Hashem with all your soul. And I say, but He says, excuse me. It says, well, I have to. Why are you saying, Why are you giving the end of the Pasuk? Give the beginning. Same thing. The Pasuk begins how? In the morning you say, who gave the evening? And the second piece of the Pasuk says, in the evening you say, who gave the morning? Every day, curse once. Every curse, every day curse is much worse. Day by day curse gets worse. How do we know? In the evening you'll say who gave the morning. So Gemara Zayashimshan is asking, why are you giving me second piece of the phrase and not the first piece? Why are you learning out from the second piece? You with me or no? Yes. I'll give you a hint, you'll understand what I'm asking. The hint is like this. When I say in the morning, who gave yesterday's evening? Is it the same day or no? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is it the same day or no? Of course it's the same day. You're asking in the night for the morning. Not true. In the morning you say who gave the evening. It's the same day. It's the same day? Yes. So therefore, I cannot ask in the morning who gave the evening. But when I say in the evening who gave the morning, that's different day, that's different day already. So therefore, therefore, Gemara proves from the second phrase and not from the first phrase. Make sense now the question? Uh, maybe I'm asking wrong. This is why people are falling asleep on me today. Guys, you with me? Yeah. Let's go further. So I don't know from the beginning, Pasuk. In the morning you say who gave the evening. Learn from there. Hey Erev. Hi Erev. Which which evening? If you tell me in the in the evening you say who gave the morning, which evening? Or in the morning you say who gave the evening, which evening? If it's next day, who knows what tomorrow will give birth to you? Who knows what will be tomorrow? You don't know. Still unknown. Still unknown. Ella the other. So comes out in the morning. You say who gave the evening, not tomorrow's evening, but yesterday's evening. Past. Shma mina comes out. Shatzaram ruba meetmon. Why? Because today's punishment increased increased from than yesterday. Vetiretz marsha. So marsha is answering you. Which morning is? Uh, which in the morning you say who gave the evening? Which evening? Tonight's or yesterday's, Masha gives the answer. The Milesha the Kra Lekeraya. 
From beginning of the pasuk, you cannot learn out the pasuk. Why you cannot give proof? You cannot exactly. You cannot bring proof. Why the aim meet and end of the lamachar? Maybe it says who will give the evening of the tomorrow. Umetape umekave la mazal yom acher sheyatchil ba'erem. Because when person gets, listen to this. Why I brought you all here today? To show you this something hidden. We need to know this. When you, not you, somebody, got punished yesterday night, till today morning is going to be quiet. You know why? Because person's knowledge knows whenever mazal of the day gets wrong, the whole day I have to be quiet. I have to be quiet. I have to let the mazal go through. When should I be speaking up? From the evening. Why? Because now it's new day. Mm. Yesterday's day... <laughs> I don't have hope because Mazal got wrong. The Mazal of the day is not good. From the no, from the evening comes new day. It's new Mazal right now. So therefore, in the morning, he will say who gave the evening, not tomorrow's, yesterday's. Why? Because he's waiting to finish off. One second. One second. One more time. Pasuk starts. This is not to do with our read. Person has to pray Shachet Mikhail no matter what. We're not talking about this. We're not talking about this. Person has problem. Okay? His business, God forbid, goes down. Okay? In the morning, you say who gave the evening. Which evening? Yesterday's. This is first part of the Pasuk. Second part of the Pasuk says, in the evening you say... Who gave the morning. morning? One second. In the evening of which day? Mm-hmm. Second day. The next day. You will say who gave the morning. 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 Why? Because you already entering to new day. You say, Hashem, yesterday's day I suffered enough. This day, please change my mazal. Yesterday's day my mazal was, was terrible. Well, you just stated that but now, automatically the next day is the worst. 100%. But but next day is worse already. What should I do? The answer is That's why we train it's in me to change the day. Sure. It's in me to change that mazal. So How? My thing, my thing How can I change it? Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. Thank you and very much. Is, uh, Thank you very much. Say, Thank you. Kadosh, kadosh, Thank you. Say. You hear shiur, you go home, right? Somebody says to you, listen, well, there's gonna be kadosh. I don't have to say kadosh. Baruch Hashem, my parents are alive. I need to go. This is no, no. Yeah. Stay here. Why? Because by you answering Kaddish Hassel, you change your mazal tomorrow. You make mazal of the world different tomorrow. This is what I'm trying to emphasize on this point. Why Pasuk brings for the second half? Because on the first half, there's no way here to talk. Why? Because you are holding in the, of the morning of yesterday's evening. The mazal is already crooked. The only time you have changed is from the evening. Why? Because that's new beginning. New beginning, you have changed to fix. This is why we are here today by Elul. Why we every Elul? Every Elul! Last year Elul, we did Slichot, yes, we did Slichot. We cried, we cried. Why are we doing this year again? Oh, every year I could change new. Every day I could change new. This is why we're learning here today. Every day to change is in my hands. I could change the world. This is why Malachim didn't want to get Moshe Rabbeinu the Torah. Why? Because a Jew will be deciding. How to change the world tomorrow? So, uh, we give birth. How do we know this? Hodo al Eretz His greatness will be great of Eretz and Shamayim. This is why Malachim didn't want Moshe Rabbeinu to have the Torah. Why? He's going to be ruling everything around here world and upper world. How? By learning Torah, keeping the mitzvot. This is the only thing that you are partner with Hashem. By learning Torah, keeping the mitzvot. Any other thing, there's no such thing that you can be partner with Hashem. Only to do Talmud Torah and Shmilata Mitzvot. Now let's go further. Hmm? Pruru is Bederecha Torah. Right? Tursheva Brachot, Chupa Kiddushin. If he lives like an animal, huh? We're talking about normal people. <laughs> Uh, a person who doesn't keep Torah mitzvah, he, he doesn't keep he doesn't keep nida, right? Is mitzvah person 
keep Nida. In order to keep Nida, he has to learn Alchot Nida, right? Mm. Some people feel, oh, you know what? Are we counting five seven, and seven? seven? Twelve days straight. She could go to Mikva. Ooh, Nida, what's that about? Five days? You check. If it's clean, now we have Chazaka, Cheska, Tahara. Then you count seven days. If there's no checking, what do you start counting? What is this, counting days? Not counting days. Checking days. You check, clean, now you could count seven cool days. Can you imagine a person doesn't know how to count seven cool days? On the sixth day he sends his wife to the mikvah. He doesn't know, he does karet every single month. No, if she doesn't go to, she doesn't check seven days, clean days, but she's clean. And she goes to mikvah. How do you know she's clean? Five you don't days. You don't check. Huh? Five days dirty. Seven days did she days check days after five days? Yeah, yeah. No, let, I'm telling you, halakha says, if she didn't check herself after five dirty days, 20 years she didn't check herself, 20 years she's nida. 50 yeah, years nida. 20 mikos not gonna help, she's nida. If you do, you gotta do so it right. The checking is do right now? The checking is chazaka. Okay. It's halakha to say that she is cheska tehara. If she didn't check herself, how do you know she's clean? Assumptions. She's cheskat nida. She's nida. She's nida is not the rabbanan. It's the orator, right? Is nida the orator? Nida makes karet. <laughs> the orator, right? So if she doesn't check, if she's nida, if she's nida. Huh? She's hundred percent nida. Woman who doesn't check after thirty days to start counting clean days, she's nida. What about? The checking will take her out of thirty. It's very important, Allah, guys. Very important, Allah. Hashem should help us learn and grow. And by Hashem, we will do back after maybe before, maybe after Chagim, uh, sending more shiurim regarding this topic. Okay, let's go further. Hey, Erev. Which evening? Oh. Hey, Erev. Ilem Erev de Laba. Mirda Mayahavi. Ela de Ova. Ushmamina. Shatara Murubame et Mol and comes out today's suffering is more than curse today is more than yesterday. From beginning, Uba Bokel Tomar meet and Erev. From morning you say you give the evening. That's not a proof. The Ema meet and Erev de la Machar. Or maybe you could say of tomorrow. Why? Because he would look forward to see what tomorrow. So right now we're we'll produce tomorrow, in huh? order. We we'll produce in order to be over with from yesterday. I'll gabe erev meet and bokeh. But what about the evening? In the evening, you'll say who gave the morning? Shapir come on kakashire. That's a good question. Given that oh bokeh shall acharav mazal yom echad who miadei my havi. If in the evening you say for tomorrow's morning, who will give tomorrow morning? What are you asking? Today's night and tomorrow the same day. So what do you change? There's nothing new, it's same day, same muscle, same day, no? Mm -hmm. Night changes muscle. There's not. Night, night and morning is one day, right? So if in the morning you struggle, because you didn't do something proper at night. Before. Is that the same day? Look, yes. The yes. morning. So, one second. The morning. Uba is already Tomar. gave birth. The morning's already gave birth. At night they're going into labor. Morning you're giving new baby. Newborn. New mazal. This is Goyish look. You know where we give birth? Mm. Friday night you start keeping Shabbat? No. From the night. No. Sun goes down. This is where the birth begins. Our new day starts from the sunset. Of any day. Any day. So, so the whole day, Mazal begins and Mazal ends by when? By sunset. Exactly. Not morning. There's no such thing in the morning new birth. So, what you're already going into tonight to give birth already, the next is already giving birth. So, it's already destined from the night before. Oh! That's right. That's right. So, therefore, you can't say at night. That is talking about tomorrow's morning. So we're talking about morning's morning. Today's morning. Whatever is past. Why? Because that was a different day. So I'm going to look for new day now. So new day has new mazal. So I'm going to new beginning. Let's go further. Because, uh, and, the, and the question is, Delphi to Rudze, and according to this answer, Lo ati lishna, de mi de my have. So you cannot say now, who knows what tomorrow will give birth. Why? Because he's asking in the evening, who gave the morning? So it means in the evening he's trying to look for something better, no? So he cannot say what well, tomorrow will give birth, we don't know. Sharei Adrabo, who yodeh shah mazal shalotoyom hu ra, shekwarit kil ba'erev. 
Because he will know that tomorrow's day is bad. Why? Because it began from yeah, the beginning. So if in the in the evening began bad, so the morning of that day will be what? Also bad. Why? Because beginning began already at night. So the whole day will be continuing of that day. Then he could say, Ilema de Lahaba, or maybe he talks about for for the next. So morning will be bad as it began in the evening. Uli did done, and according to us that we said what? How did we understand Rava? Is he talking about the future or morning or evening or he talks about the past? How did we understand in the beginning? It talks about the past or future. How did we understand? Huh? That was the question. But really, how did we understand in the beginning? In the night, which night? Yesterday. In the evening, he's gonna say who gave the morning, which ones? The one that passed. This is how we learned, no? Who did that? And according to us, neither Tadache, who Chachto, Shel Rava, the proof of Rava, he, the Fisha, Katuv Kafal Devarau. Because Pasuk says double version. It says, in the morning you'll say who gave the evening, and in the evening you'll say who gave the morning. So double version, right? The Bishlam, Aresh, and the Kro, Babokir, Tomar, Mit, and Erev. In the beginning we say, the beginning of the Pasuk, where it says, in the morning you will say who gave the evening. Efsha, Shu, Metzapeu, Mekavesha, Erev, Havaiye, Yoter, Tov. Could be, he's thinking about, next evening, to look for something better. Meet and Erev. Who will give the more the evening? Enachinami show Erev de la Haba. It doesn't mean tomorrow's evening. In the morning he will say, "Who gave the evening?" He says it doesn't mean. I would think he he's looking for something new. I would think so, but really it doesn't mean that he says. I will say for the crow, but in the end of the pasuk it says, "Uba Erev Tomar Meet and Boker." In the evening. He will say, who gave the morning? In Kavana Takatu Lomar. Bokel de la Haba. If you tell me he talks about tomorrow's morning, the Hainu Shehu Metzafer Mekaveshe Yelo Levach Metzarato, he is looking to weigh out from his suffering. Amai Itzlich Kwa Kroa Likfol Devarau. Why do I need Pasuk to repeat the same thing two times? Pshita. The Bechol Yom Vachol Laila Yom Aken Ve'en Ladavar Sof. So now, comes out, if in the morning I talk about who gave yesterday night. In the night, I'm talking about who gave yesterday's morning. So then I'm always looking in future when the good day will come. But good day will come ever? Mm -hmm. No, why not? Because every day, every day, the curse gets worse. So then he's never going to be happy, this guy. If I will be looking always next day who will be going doing good, then I will never be happy in my life. Huh? Guys, did I confuse you good? Not yet? Let me confuse a little bit more. Are you with me or no? Huh? Yes. So tell me one thing. For now, this question, what we're deciding, is for yesterday's cycle or tomorrow's cycle? Till tomorrow. now. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. You're holding with me good. Last piece is very important. Now it's going to prove everything what I mixed up you, what I mixed you up today. But you should know one thing. Whenever you think Torah, even though you don't get 100%, which is should be 100%, you still get scar. Any time throughout the year you thought about wrong things, now is the time to fix. Whenever you think Torah, it cleans your mouth, mind. Cleans from Averot, cleans from anger, cleans from uh, different things, huh? I tell you the truth. Rabbi Abraham is asking, whatever I'm thinking Torah right now, is cleaning on the past year? Honestly, no whole life yeah. from the time that you were born until today so this is why it's important to think Torah the Torah has no limits Torah is so holy it takes person from the dirtiest part or the blackest point straight to the biggest light which is Shekhinah how about the Neshama before? Neshama no, before, before it goes now 
Whatever person fixes now, he fixes for everything. You know, I heard from Rabbi Pinto. I was driving once. He was listening to me. He says, Neshama knows from Arizal's name who he came as Gilgul. Let's say dog came Gilgul on a person. A person came Gilgul in a dog. He knows exactly whose Gilgul he is and what he is fixing. Did you ever see persons never happy with what he wants? He cannot find spot for himself. He sits here, cannot. Uh, always, always not happy. Nowadays, do you negative. know why? It's not negative. negative. It's not negative. His neshama cannot find itself. What do you do to that person? Put him sit well down. Talk to him Torah. Learn with him. When you put sit well down, but he cannot move means talk to him nicely go out with him speak to him nicely put him somewhere near you for 30 40 minutes see where he cannot sit on Allahot and Gemara and Mishnah and learn with him all this, this all the time this until he gets comfortable with this and he's going to fix himself and he's going to be the happiest person in life <laughs> the whole happiness of a person is if his neshama knows he's doing the right thing if neshama does not know he's doing the right thing he's going to pretend to be happy and suddenly falls to depression <laughs> So Torah? Once, Rabbi, once By saying you're lowering the you're lowering the value of the Torah. Torah is all the medications in the world. Basically, you drink one thing cures, one thing hurts. Torah, hundred percent calorie, yes. If you fix everything, hundred percent. Of yeah. course, that's not me. Or I don't know. You fix hundred percent. Are you sure Torah now? Yes. So you also? No, but look, you fix everything. That means that means you die <laughs> right away. You actually fix you. Nobody no, said that. You would always that. When you higher. fix you yourself, you fix you when you fix yourself, you go high, high, high until you get to the reach to the point where Sahara says, you know what? I cannot deal with him. I cannot make him sin and leaves you alone. But it doesn't mean person reaches his level, he should die next day. Not when true. you learn more Torah, you see. <laughs> I see so many people learn all day and night and they live long. They do take tikkun. There's a lot of Torah to learn though. Yes. It doesn't mean he's going to die by fixing his tikkun. He's going to live longer. Just it's a will stay with him. El Amadai! Really? For sure. Mi de Chazor Lomar. Uba Erev Tomar Mi Iten Boker. Since the Pasuk continues repetition, second phrase, by saying. And in the evening, you will say, "Who gave the money?" Tariq Lomar, the Chidusha Kamash Malam. It comes to teach you the new. There's a Chidush here. Velo dami leresh dikro. It doesn't come to teach us whatever said in the beginning of the pasuk. What in the beginning said? In the morning, you will say, "Who gave the evening?" Yesterday's evening. How about evening? In the evening, you'll say who gave the morning. Yeah, it doesn't mean to teach us whatever we learned in the beginning first phrase. The crow, the hatam, baboker, tomar meat, and erev. Over there, we learned in the morning, you'll say who gave the evening. Haya or mitada safek, because he was saying this from the doubt. Umitad shaya metapeu mekave, and he was searching for happiness will come already. Where is my happiness? Why is it not coming? And for sure, over there in the morning, he said, Who gave the evening? The suffering did not increase, it just continued. Why? Because it's the same day. Oh. Suffering in the morning is the same as what was yesterday night, right? And he's waiting from the morning to go already to next day. Why? Because yesterday's suffering still continues till now. And now, in the end, and in the night, he's saying to let us know the suffering goes worse and worse. Since from the evening, tomorrow's day, I don't know what's going to give birth. I'm for sure saying what? Morning of the previous day. Why? Because I'm looking for something new. I'm looking for something new from yesterday's curse. I'm looking for something new to make it better. 
and therefore I'm searching to pray to Hashem to get a better day. And from here we see that every day curse gets worse and worse. Michel Chavero, who made Pasuk teaches us that next day curse is worse. So what do you do? You do two things. Once you do two things, you walk around happy. How do we know? Can you imagine if Jewish nation would not pray? 3,000 years ago, the world would be collapsed already a long time ago. Why? Because day by day after golden calf, after the scene of a golden calf, curse comes down to this world worse and worse daily. Just six hours. Do you understand that today, 70% more people learn Torah than was 150 years ago? 70% wouldn't be for this learning Torah. The world will be done. Why? The curse comes stronger and stronger. Since the curse is stronger, the power of Torah is stronger. Can you imagine if one of your children don't go to Yeshiva today? Could be he's the one who's holding the Torah and he's not holding the Torah now. He's not holding the world now. So therefore, every kid that goes to Yeshiva, everyone that puts tefillin, you should know by you tying it, you keep the world running. And don't take it for granted. You come to Shiur today. Do you know how exhausted you are? Extremely. And what do you come here to know? Morning, yesterday's morning. Okay. Evening, yesterday's evening. What are you trying to learn? Every day curse gets worse. If your Torah is not strong, your mitzvot are not strong, then the world will not stand. How does it stand? By you continuously keeping Torah and learning Torah. By you keeping mitzvot and, le and learning more mitzvot to keep. Hashem should help us to keep and learn and grow. And written, and we should be written into a book of life and signed in the book of life and they do this man more than yemen miriam